Well, welcome everybody. My name is David Nava. I am a Czech Grandmaster. And uh, this is my first uh, Banter Blitz here. Actually, I participated once or twice in Banter Blitz of Pentala Hare Krishna, an Indian Grandmaster and a good friend of mine. But uh, I am not good at technical issues and uh, we were solving some technical problems now. Uh, so I want to inform you that if you want to use chat, please use chat on the main page of Chess24. I will try uh, the best to uh, read the chat, but I don't still quite know how to do that. So we will see how does it work. So I will start uh, by playing Blitz game against Vanessa Montserrat, who helped me to arrange this, uh, uh, this uh, setup, everything with Zoom and so on. So uh, let's see what happens. I'm a bit nervous now because, you know, I'm not good at playing with a mouse. So maybe I will use my fingers because it's more comfortable for me, if you don't mind. And uh, uh, let's play Blitz. This is a Carlsbad structure of Queen's Gambit declined. Uh, it has nothing to do with Beth Harmon. Uh, and uh, this structure is generally slightly favorable for white, but nothing special. Uh, Black's position is solid and uh, okay, b5 is uh, risky because it creates a weakness or, on c6. I mean, it's playable and it's often good when white castles uh, queen side but uh, it's quite risky here. I actually should have, maybe could have played and perhaps even should have played slightly differently, namely knight e5 immediately, but okay, now I can play it anyway. So let's see, white has a grip on the uh, queen side, uh, sorry, on the king side. Uh, and uh, now I will try to generate some more weaknesses, perhaps on the other side of the board. Uh, so you can see that c6 square is a bit weakened now and also c5. Uh, so I will put my rook on the free file and uh, see what happens then. Okay, I hope I should be, okay. Is there a perpet to attack? No, I think it's fine. So welcome everybody. I'm sorry uh, for technical problems at the beginning, I mean, I'm not an experienced user and uh, with me and IT, it's not always so easy. So I hope it will become better with time, but I have not so, I don't have so much time. So I should speed up uh, so you can, oh, I expected black to recapture with the other rook because maybe now I would have, if I had known it, maybe I would have taken on a five, although black has rook a eight. And it's not that clear whether it is such a big problem. So let's protect everything. Now the A4 pawn is protected. So it means, uh, oh, sorry, I'm not really quick enough to draw arrows. Sorry for this, because I have enough problems with uh, playing like this. So what is two pawns up and maybe it would be great if I could see uh, how much time do I have, but I have zoom window over my time, which is not exactly optimal. So let's go. H4, I'm trying to gain the F4 square for my uh, knight, but for some strange reason, I haven't taken on B4. So let's take it now. Okay. I think what is winning, not only what is not only three points up, but is also winning an exchange. So one minute and 38 seconds should be enough to win this position. I, I will try to switch to the chat after this game because uh, I don't know how to switch during the game. Maybe I will try. Okay, not F6, so let's go here. Uh, perhaps b4 to limit black's bishop. But uh, okay, let's play a5. I, I will then try to switch to the chat, but uh, please forgive me if I fail. 
Yes, and there is made in one. Uh, so now I will see chat. Uh, I'm sorry for not being able to see it uh, both uh, simultaneously. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm not experienced in using IT because uh, until recently I did not have a smartphone. I only bought it uh, one year and a few months ago, but unfortunately during the lockdown, so no one was able to uh, explain me how exactly it works. So that's uh, why I basically have not learned many things quickly because uh, it was, uh, I mean, it was hard to learn it on my own. And uh, okay. Then a friend told me, for example, how to close a window. But uh, I mean, uh, uh, until then, I have not known it for a year and I either closed all the windows or none. Okay, so I should not show my preparation. So I will play just uh, various openings. Whereas normally in, online competitions, I am mostly playing one and the same opening all the time because, uh, because uh, uh, it's sort of blitz repertoire, which uh, allows me to uh, not to show too much of my preparation and uh, still play openings which, with which I'm reasonably successful. So we are playing Cambridge Springs a variation. It has nothing to do with Cambridge University. Cambridge Springs is a city in, in the United States and uh, the variation was named after it uh, because uh, there was a big tournament where it was played. I am wondering whether it was not the tournament where Harry Nelson Pillsbury bet uh, Emmanuel Alaska in a legendary attacking game with some sacrifices, uh, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. And this variation has been popularized by Grandmaster Alexei Drev, who is uh, playing it uh, basically I mean, who was playing it and uh, who has uh, taught it many players. So what is as a bishop pair uh, and has slightly better chances, but black's position should also be all right. And uh, it's playable, it's uh, stable enough. Uh, and uh, black just is getting a slightly worse end game, but it's not a big deal. I think f3 and bishop f2 was the main move for white to preserve the bishop pair. Uh, because now black should be more or less comfortable. So let's see. I'm not sure whether I should play knight e5 or not. So I should start with some generally useful move, if there is any. So what can I do? Can I do anything? Is there a good move in the position? I hope there is some good move. So let's play bishop a6. Of course, every move has uh, some drawback as well. And the, the drawback of this move is that I will not be able to, yes, I will not be able to stop the a pawn now, but I think it's not such a big deal. I hope that I will be able to deal with it when speaking about the deals. The big question is, what should I do with my king? And actually, there is a nice line which allows me to, I mean, play g5, f4, and then knight d3, uh, sacrificing a pawn, but maybe winning an exchange in return. But I'm not sure if it really works. So I will bring my king closer to the center. Hope it's not losing on the spot. We will see what happens next. Maybe, okay, what is preparing bishop g3? And uh, also it makes sense to prevent black's knight from jumping to b4. So through d3, of course. So let's go. I will probably play. Can I do this? Okay, let's play like this. I'm now threatening f5, f4. Typing what's uh, bishop, g takes, sorry, I'm not good at making those point, uh, pointers. Okay, and now what can I do? Shall I push G4? Is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Is it a terrible idea? Let's see what happens. When we don't know what to do, we should give checks or, uh, okay, I'm also check. 
Uh, we should give checks or uh, push push pawns. But uh, I mean, now if I take on e4, there is f5, quite an unpleasant move. So I will play something else instead. Trying to bring my knight to f5 and stabilize my position, not opening the road for white's bishop. I mean, if I had taken black, white could have take, played this f5. So let's see now what is going on. If I take on e4 again, there is f5, and then I only then I takes e4. So I should start with something else, but it is not that simple because the white doesn't, black does not have so many useful moves. I'm not that happy with my position. So let's try to play something halfway reasonable. Of course, white has e5, which is unpleasant, but I mean, it's life. You cannot get everything in life. You need to make compromises at times. So which compromise is to be done now? I mean, knight g6 again looks silly, but maybe not all the silly moves are necessarily wrong. So, okay, I will first prepare against uh, a5 because if white plays a5, I will try to counter it out either with b5 or maybe sometimes even with b takes a5, but better not now. And I did something wrong. I should have played knight g6 to prevent white from stabilizing the king side with g3 because now his uh, bishop is free, whereas it would not have been otherwise. So it's not a good position for me. Unfortunately, what can I do? I will go back with my king just to avoid some nasty check on c5. Uh, I mean, if white plays b a5, I play b5. There is not b3, knight takes c5 in some lines. I don't really like this position. It's not good for black. So what can I do with it? White is threatening a5, so I should apply prophylactic thinking and realize that I'm in a big trouble. So I will at least try to improve my knight when nothing else can be done. I don't claim it will be good, but let's see what happens, really. It can be interesting. Unfortunately, I have too many weaknesses in the position. It's not great at all, but it's life. You can get everything. So I will take it, but I'm just considering some details. What to exchange, what not to exchange, what to do, and what can still be done with this terrible position. It's really terrible, so what can I do with it? So let's play it like this. I'm wondering how much material am I losing here, actually? Maybe a lot. Let's see. I'm afraid white's f con will, will be quite strong now. But what can I do? Maybe bishop c8 immediately was a better move. Just uh, preparing to activate my rook, but I played something else. So this is, of course, lost for black. I will try to find some perpetual check. Uh, yes, I wanted to activate my rook and to go to f1, but unfortunately, right now it doesn't look possible because there is mate on b8. So I need to do something very quickly, perhaps because I'm losing on time. It, it'd be a good idea to play quickly. At least now I cannot play f6. That's the only good thing about the position. But the bad thing is that I cannot play anything now. It's sad, but I mean, it's not the end of the world. It just happens. OK, so I will try to find something funny. No stalemate, oh, there is no stalemate. Okay, so I how to reason this way. Okay, so next opponent, uh, where, is, where is it? Okay, 33, so congratulations. And now I will try to accept this. So I started the first game with d4, so let's play, go for knight f3 now and c4 to have some fun. I'm waiting with d4 for a better moment, but maybe nowadays now there is nothing better than d4 after g6 because 
it is a reasonable setup when okay bishop g4 i think i can take on d5 now and now black needs to make some concessions because i'm attacking d b7 but also d5 in some lines uh, with my queen and knight so he probably needs to go back with his bishop so I mean, it's possible. It's good for black that white bishop can no longer go to f4. So this position is not really bad for black, but still it's slightly preferable for white. If white knows what to do next, which is not exactly my case. So it can be very interesting now, given that I don't know how to play this position. I mean, for example, if I play e4 now, black has knight c6 attacking my uh, d4 pawn. Sorry for the pointers, I'm not really good at this, as you can see. So I will prevent uh, black from playing knight c6 first. I don't uh, say it's such a great move, but uh, I'm still, uh, I still enjoy a bishop pair and it's good that black can no longer put his knight on c6 because the knight is mostly placed well on c6 in such positions and less well on d7. So I'm sort of moderately happy. And now I should probably speed up. I mean, if I played the other rook on c1, I could also play knight takes d5 at some position then and if black moves his rook and then give some very nasty check. But uh, why am I? always speaking about Czechs. It, does it have anything to do with my nationality? But now I cannot play knight takes d5 in any moment because there would be an intermediate check on, the, on c1 and I would just lose a knight. So I decided to attack a pawn on a6 uh, to generate some weakening and uh, okay. And now it resembles a game between Botwinik and Bronstein. Uh, not the last game of the match, but uh, an important one because white has a bishop pair, but here also white lacks time, which is uh, very unpleasant. So I will try to consolidate my position without losing on time. I will try to make some little moves, bring my king closer, uh, not to allow black's uh, pieces uh, to occupy some good squares. And uh, we will see what happens then. I don't know whether I should go on d3 or maybe a2 back. d5 looks like a good square for the bishop. And maybe now I should go to d3. It's not such a bad idea, but maybe also opening the position is not the worst idea in the world, but okay, this was not good because black has knight e8 and knight d6 and knight c4. So I realized it only after playing my move, but it was already too late. You can see it's tough. I should have played some g4 or, or something like that instead. But I mean, it's not a big deal. We are still playing. Of course, this is not great what I did, but okay, it's chess, play goes on. I'm just low on time, so I need to do something with it really very quickly so let's go e4 i understand it's risky because uh, my pawn structure is not that great but uh, let's see what happens now i mean it's not so easy to protect the e6 pawn for black oh e5 really maybe i can just push d5 now let's go for it I mean, I have a protected past pawn, which should normally be an asset. Uh, of course, it is questionable in such a position, but uh, I'm going to play g4 next. Am I really going to play g4 next? Okay, I have so little time that there is no time to think. So let's play g4 and hope that I will be able to make all my moves in time, which is always a problem for me, by the way. I mean, I'm not that quick. So let's play knight g5 to begin with. Uh, okay, take it all. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. 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 Do, 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 do. 
Oh, I missed a fork on. It was not nice, really. Not really nice. Is it? Sorry. I mean. Okay, so congratulations. I'm sorry. I also missed a fork on F6. So now I will accept another one. So Novilla Euro. Okay, let's go for it. And now what can I play? Maybe C6, D5. Uh, can I remove more moves here or just one? I don't know what happens. I mean, it is... Okay, and now Black has a comfortable position, which one normally doesn't get in Karokan. Uh, Karokan is named after two masters. I think they were both Germans or maybe Austro-Hungarians. Uh, one of them was Horatio Karo, and the other one was, I don't know the name, if Marcus or, but Khan. Uh, and uh, they were, uh, promoting the op this opening. And uh, I mean, it's an opening which has stood up the test of the time. Uh, and uh, it uh, is, uh, it can be placed solidly, but also aggressively, which is uh, good quality for an opening. But I mean, nowadays in computer times, it is not always easy to play Karakhan uh, against well-prepared opponents. Uh, but anyway, it, uh, it is the sound opening, which makes a lot of sense. And Erwin Lamy has written a nice chessable course on it. Uh, so you are welcome to buy it. And uh, hopefully he sh will uh, send me some little gift for making a free advertisement for this. No, I, of course, I'm joking completely. I'm not serious and sorry if you have a different sense of humor, but uh, you are free to, uh, you are free not to watch this video. It's your right. So I will just improve my position and I will hope not to lose on time again. I mean, in the previous game, I got too short of time and then I was no longer able to handle the position, which happens to me quite often actually more often than I would wish, but it's life. Okay, so I will play rook c8 just to improve my position and see what can I do next. And uh, next I should make some expansion in the center. So is white preparing bishop b4 or maybe not? We will see now. Yes, white is preparing bishop b4. So I should improve my knight. But the big question is whether to do so with the exchange or without it. So let's play it like this. But why am I so slow? I don't understand it. Why am I so slow? And now I need to transfer the bishop to a different diagonal. So let's do it now. I will switch my bishop to c6 and hope to bring my knight to f4, which I should have done on the previous move, but it is not that bad even now, actually. C4, really? It's a sort of Benoni position now, but actually I could have taken on C3 as well. So let's do it. Okay, let's take. And knight F4, Gary Kasparov has famously said that the knight placed on f4 or white's knight on f5 is equivalent to a pawn advantage, to an advantage of one pawn. I mean, nowadays we are no longer calculating in pawns, but uh, it still makes sense. I mean, it is a sort of advantage. Not, uh, I mean, not calculating in pawns, but what makes sense is uh, occupying the f4 square. Sorry, you know that I'm not playing well now, so I need to drink a bit. Alexander Aliechin was drinking. 
many other famous chess players were drinking, so I just drink some soft drinks. It's nothing alcoholic, but it helps me to play better. You see, I took a sip of uh, this juice and uh, I have immediately won a pawn. It works very nicely. And another pawn, because I have bishop takes e4 or even some pins with bishop b5, but this is more effective. White still has knight g3, which is not a bad move. I can even play bishop b5 then, threatening rook d1, but um, I'm not sure if it's the best move. I will probably play something more prosaic or maybe not. Okay, let's play it prosaically this time. It was actually bishop b5 threatening some mate. Maybe it was not such a bad idea, actually. Let's see what happens if I just play queen g4, attacking everything, attacking the king. I mean, I regrettably have too little time. So what can be done? Let's take it here. I mean, bishop b5 now was a, probably a great move. What did I do? Why didn't I take on g3? Any reason? Maybe because I haven't retracted my pre-move. What happens? Why cannot I make the move now? What's this? Am I not winning? Rook f6. Isn't it over? Okay, so thank you for the game. And next, uh, next one. I will try to switch to the chat now. Sorry, I... Uh, Work. Uh, what's my favorite? Yes, I can. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I can sing sometimes, but uh, not always. Uh, as for openings, I really know many openings. Uh, it's not a problem. Uh, I can play many openings up to a certain level, which is mostly fine for banter blades but not for uh, not for uh, elite tournaments and as for singing i can uh, yes i mean i will try to accept some challenges uh, one by one but uh, i mean it uh, i cannot accept them all because i'm not quick enough so dangerous right uh, with 31 minutes okay three plus two Let's see, it will be a dangerous ride. So e6, this looks like my main repertoire. So what to do with it? Maybe I should play like this. This, this, I don't remember anything, unfortunately. Is it still my main repertoire or maybe no, no longer? Oh, okay, not c6. When you don't know what to do, make some normal moves and it cannot be too wrong. So let's see. I mean, taking on c4 makes sense. We have transposed to another line, which makes a lot of sense. I mean, queen c7 or queen e7, I don't know which is more accurate. And uh, black can also play b6. I mean, e5 was another option and possibly a better one. But uh, Precision is not that important here. I mean, it's uh, mostly for fun. I mean, maybe I can try to switch to other window to see the chat, but uh, unfortunately I'm unable to see both at the same time now. So let's see, is there anything in chat? Uh, Twitch feed died. Uh, Twitch is offline, but YouTube still there. Thank you. Uh, but I don't know whether I'm connected to YouTube or to Twitch. I don't have Twitch actually, so maybe that's why my Twitch account is dead because it ha has never born. So let's play for tricks. Maybe it's even good. I'm actually threatening quite something you can see now. I'm threatening queen h2 mate. So this will be quick. And at least I will be able to play more games. I mean, it can happen quite easily that one can, can miss something like this because uh, chess requires a lot of attention and a single lapse of attention might be enough to uh, lose a game quickly. Okay, thank you. 
thank you very much. And uh, just LG. And now I will accept another challenge. Uh, so now some, I was asked to accept some lower rated challenge. So which one? Oops, get it. Sounds interesting. Why did I accept three plus two and not three plus zero? I have no idea, but at least I will not lose on time, maybe. So let's see. Is this my normal repertoire? So far it is. So maybe I should. Okay, I'm not playing that often against D3. So now it is no longer my main repertoire, but it is. Uh, not outside my main repertoire either. I mean, just I'm more used to other white setups here. And we are playing sort of Sicilian defense with reversed colors. And I will try to play it with C6, D5 this time. No idea why haven't I started from Rook E8 to be able to bring my bishop to F8 without losing time as I am now because now white can also uh, start some play maybe on the queen side. Although after c5, I always have d5, so it should not be a big problem. And now if I play d5, white has knight b5 later on. So I need to think twice whether I should uh, allow it or prepare d5 once more by playing something else. And now I should not make a free move from bishop takes d6 when it is unpassant. I already made this mistake in titled Tuesday and lost a piece because my opponent hasn't <laughs> captured the pawn. I somehow haven't, I somehow had believed that recaptures are safe, but in case of unpassant, it's not, uh, not true. The opponent was kind enough to offer me a draw, but I declined because I didn't deserve it anyway. <laughs> and now black has a comfortable position, but nothing special. I mean, it's probably equal. And uh, knight a4 is maybe not the most accurate move because the uh, white's queen gets decentralized and uh, black gets a nice play in the center or maybe on the king side as well. Knight d4, it calls for tactics. I mean, h2 is quite weak now. So what can I do with it? The right answer is probably nothing because white's knight is still there to protect the king. But even if I cannot do anything with it, maybe I can make some good moves at least. So let's uh, provoke some weakening. I'm not sure if it's a good move actually, because, because I mean, white's pieces are placed well. The queen is misplaced on a4, but it's just for one move. Bishop would be better placed on b2 perhaps, but white's pieces are not placed uh, poorly. I mean, maybe black has a very slight initiative, but not more. Actually, there was also bishop takes h2, but I am afraid it would not have worked now. So that's why I decided to play it in a more down to earth way. And I hope to get a better pawn structure to generate some pressure along the d file if possible. Maybe. And if not possible, then at least to enjoy the game somehow. Maybe I should switch to mouse now again. Sorry, I will probably not play against the same players uh, more times because there are many challenges. So sorry for this. I will not be able to accept all the challenges anyway. And uh, especially if I'm playing slowly, like now. And now I will try to create a battery.
in some lines I can play queen d6 and to hope to generate some attack, but not now, but now I can deliver a fork. I'm playing from, from a room which can also serve as a kitchen, kitchen, so delivering a fork is not the most unexpected thing here. And let's attack the bishop. Hopefully I will be able to take it. There are some back ranks mot motives. Rook d1 is there if white takes. And then it's made. And if, I mean, like this, queen takes and rook d1. Sorry, I'm unable to draw this. So I have a few draws and maybe that's also why I'm unable to draw uh, the draw the pointers. So let's accept maybe, which one should I accept now? Uh, okay, so maybe someone who is waiting for, there for a long time. Let's accept this. On to what can I do? Yes? Yes, I will finish this game and then switch to only premier mem members. Sorry, it's fine. I mean, if the opponent reacts, uh, of course. If not, I will skip the game. It seems that the opponent is not reacting. So uh, sorry for this, but I was asked to uh, I was asked to play against premium members only. So could you please advise me how to uh, how to set it? Yes. Uh, Premium only. Okay, thank you. I'm there and uh, okay. So someone who has been there for a long time. So Becarios, no? All right. So let's play. What can I play this time? Maybe some Greenfield Indian defense. As the Greenfield from Vienna, of Vienna was a uh, strong player, one of the leading players of his time. And uh, he belonged to hypermodernists who popularized uh, openings like this one and who claimed that uh, one does not need to occupy the center with pawns uh, to be able to control it. And the, the pawn center can also become weak and uh, that you need, uh, I mean, it often makes more sense to Thank you to your bishops to be able to attack op the opponent's uh, pawn center and to seize it then in the middle game. So e4, so I'm trying to demonstrate what I have been talking about, but maybe in practice it is not that easy. So let's see what happens. At least I hope to develop pieces harmoniously when we are speaking about best harmon. Oh. You can see that I'm attacking white center, hypermodernists would be happy. And now I have forced a weakening move e5, which is not exactly bad, but uh, I mean, it can, I mean, now probably it was sort of forced, but it's sort of achievement for black because white spawn major majority in center is uh, slightly corrupted now and uh, and no longer that dangerous for me. So let's play queen d5, centralizing the queen. I mean, it's good because now white cannot attack my queen and uh, queen is, often placed uh, well in the center when it cannot be attacked. But I should probably play quicker. So let's begin with it. I'm a pawn up so I can be reasonably happy, but I should also be able to play slightly quicker. So let's play queen d5. It's a good square, so I will come back there. And now rook c8. 
and to bishop h6 to attack the rook and if it withdraws then there will be rook c2 okay so it has finished thank you and some more challenges I think I have already accepted challenge of dangerous right. So sorry for this monkey king, no monkey business, e4. C5. So I will play Pentala Hare Krishna's favorite line now. I mean, this is not my regular repertoire, but I'm able to play it at least to some extent. And now white wants to play c4, but the question is whether immediately or first castle. Maybe I should have castled first. Maybe it was more accurate. But anyway, this cannot be too bad. White enjoys a space advantage, but black's position is fine and uh, it's solid. This should not be good because white has a better pawn structure, but uh, it should not be too bad either because uh, it's uh, just one of many natural moves. And uh, I need to act quickly, but I don't know whether I should go for e5 or c5. Probably something like that is called for, but it's a question whether this is good because it also opens the position for Black's bishop pair, which is still on the board. I hope to be able to attack Black's c6 pawn or maybe to exchange one of the bishops under favorable circumstances, which means not now, but uh, in other words, but. Uh, Okay, for example, if I play queen f3, but can just sacrifice a pawn. And it is not clear whether white achieves something or not, but let's hope that it's good for me. I hope to attack black's queen then. So let's take the pawn. I enjoy grabbing pawns. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that when I was young, the uh, Czech Republic was not very rich country. So being a bit greedy when it comes to pawns might uh, have been a good idea, maybe. But times have changed. No, I will play rook e1 first because I'm not sure whether bishop f4 is a good move because it also weakens b2 and black would be able to play queen b7 then and attack my b2 pawn if I played bishop f4 here. So let's play rook e1 and I think I can take the pawn. Is it? Am I wrong? Am I right? Let's try what happens. I mean, I will be temporarily two points up and what black can win one of them back, but uh, I will still remain one pawn up then. So what can I do? Maybe bishop d2, bishop e3. <sighs> okay, let's go here. Not the worst square for sure. Maybe not the best square either, but I'm two pawns up. I can give up, give back the f3 pawn, which would have been the case after not e5, but now I'm threatening a fork. And now I can stabilize my position and hope to win the game. So I will protect everything first and then start rolling my pawns. Rolling pawns. I think it's uh, some musical group. Okay, maybe. Well, and now I am able to pin Black's uh, height. I still has rook d8, but I'm not sure if it's so great. First, I have knight c7 check then. Next, uh, moreover, I 
still have ideas connected with C6. Well, this was not nice. This was not nice at all. What am I doing here? Maybe I should talk less and focus on the play more. Not the worst idea for sure, but I'm still a pawn up and I hope to be able to convert the advantage. To do so, one needs to improve the king position, but uh, exchanging material is not bad either. So let's go for it. But maybe not now, sorry. This was not the right way. I need to improve my king's position, so let's go. And also not losing on time would be great. Even at the cost of not improving the king's position in the best way. But losing on time is never desirable. And I hope to be a, to able to win this in spite of all the inaccuracies. So let's see what happens. I think it's just a winning pawn at on end game. And let's go forward. I'm winning. Okay, thank you. And now I should switch to chat, maybe. Okay, I didn't know that the Rolling Stones. I was joking about the Rolling Stones, of course. But uh, okay, welcome everybody. And uh, yes, it was a good Greenfield position. And now I will accept another challenge. I think I have already accepted the challenge of dangerous right. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, okay, there are so many crypto challenges. Have I played against crypto? Okay, let's go. Okay, so I should sing maybe. So I will try to sing my version of Enya's uh, pilgrim, uh, Enya's song pilgrim. So, but I need to move a bit because I'm pushing my uh, stomach now, which is not very great for singing. Fast born on your journey, on the road you chose. To find out why the kings die and where the pieces go. All games come from one game, that much you must know. You cannot change what's over, but only where you go. One way leads to diamonds, one way leads to gold, another leads you only to where the game unfolds. In your heart you wonder which of these is true. The road that leads to nowhere, the road that leads to you. Will you find the answer in all you play and do? Will you find the answer in you? Each heart is a past born. Each heart wants to know the reason why the kings die and where the pieces go. Past born in your journey, it's good you are there. For past born, it's a long way to the promotion square. 
past on its long way to the promotion square. Sorry, I mean, I again, didn't start at the uh, right tone, which happens to me quite often. I mean, I'm just pure amateur and, uh, but in chess, I'm professional, so I should focus on the game and try to uh, attack Black's Queen in the best possible way. I mean, Black's Queen is decentralized and not placed very well, and Black's King can also not castle King's side, which is a serious handicap. So I hope to be able to increase my advantage soon, but of course this is never easy and uh, let's see what happens if I play knight h4. Maybe more chocolate is needed to break black's defense. So let's see. More time or more chocolate? Ideally both. So I will start with uh, playing quicker and maybe then continue with chocolate. So one of the most famous mathematicians uh, and the most prolific author uh, who was called Erdős, like uh, Hungarian grandmaster, but, uh, but uh, I don't know what was his given name, the mathematicians. Uh, famously remarked that the mathematician is a machine for transforming coffee into theoremas. So let's see. I Maybe I should have played e4 and sacrificed the c4 pawn then, but uh, I didn't know how to make it work. So I decided to play something slightly different, but I mean, I'm very short of time. Low on time, so what can I do? It's not nice at all. Maybe I should stop talking and start playing now. I mean, it is difficult for me because uh, I'm more successful in talking. So I have been more successful in talking so far, but uh, hopefully I can also demonstrate that I'm even able to play some good chess if needed. Sometimes even when being low on time, although one can never be sure about this. Actually, Black Skin is quite exposed and I hope to open lines and open files and diagonals against Black Skin and to win by the decisive attack. So let's play Queen Rook C6 to take on E6 with a Rook. And then hopefully I will be able to deliver mate in time. I mean, there are always uh, those uh, uh, puzzles like mate in three, or mate in two, but uh, ma delivering mate in time is uh, often more difficult. So, okay, sorry, I will. Okay. There is some grandmaster, so let's try. I don't know who is that. Uh, hope, definitely a strong player. Hopefully, he or she will not beat me too badly. Somehow underrated grandmaster although the local ratings are not the most relevant ones. So let's play d5. Okay, this opening is very popular in online chess and I faced it many times and almost managed to learn how to play against it, but not yet. So there is still plenty of room for improvement. So let's go here. So-called airport Jobava system. They are both uh, known as very creative players. And uh, I haven't known this move, bishop e2. I'm not sure if it's the best one, but it's not bad for sure. What can I do? Let's play it positionally like Karakan. It looks just like a bit different Karakan. I'm satisfied with the best position. Hopefully the current master will not beat me too badly. I want to recapture on c6 with a piece to uh, keep my pawn structure uh, flexible and uh, to maintain pressure along the c file. White is exchanging 
here and uh, actually I think White wants to play knight e2 or maybe not let's see I considered playing queen c8 but there was oh, not sure if it was a better idea or not it was a it was just another relevant idea but now I can also employ my queen elsewhere to fight against queen's unemployment so let's play queen d6 maybe to attack some pawns as I have already warned you I like grabbing pawns under all the circumstances the big question is where do I retreat with my queen after knight a4 I think both a5 and b5 are wood squares but maybe hmm, we will see I will not say it aloud Maybe I will surprise the opponent. Maybe I will surprise myself. We will see. There is also a problem that Black's knight, White's knight can go to c5 in some lines. But now I'm a pawn up, so it's a reason to celebrate. celebrate. Oh, well. I mean, nowadays one needs to be modest. I mean, particularly after crossing 30 or and 35 and like this one needs to be modest and enjoy every extra pawn every good game because one cannot improve forever and of course we can try i can improve some facets of my play and i am trying i'm working on my chess seriously but uh, i mean it is not possible to improve forever and uh, Sometimes uh, it's necessary to enjoy some small pleasures like winning a pawn or getting open file and or getting a better pawn structure because when combined together, these uh, little pleasures can maybe transform into something real like a point in the game. So let's see if this is the case now. I think I'm winning can transpose into a winning pawn in the game and it should not or win another pawn on b4. So it's a matter of taste. So what can I do? I mean, bishop c3 was another option, but uh, why not this? Of course, I should not allow white's king to penetrate through d4. So I will just improve my position and I have all the time in the world just all the time in the world. And I can also push a5 if needed. It's not a bad idea at all. So let's go for it. e4 and I will just create a second passed pawn. Removing everything, b3, b2, b1. Really? Okay. Queen g2. Thank you for the game. All right, so I'm going to accept next one, but maybe switch to chat first. Maybe if I, okay, thank you. And I mean, I'm not good at tech, no. And uh, I, as for Chessable, uh, I have a topic, uh, but uh, but uh, I'm not sure. I I will first have some video on the other topic because I'm not a player who would like to create opening courses. Maybe I will one day, but it's not my biggest hobby. Perhaps I, of course, I'm study open studying openings uh, as everybody is. But uh, for me, it's like the necessary evil. Not uh, not like the thing which I would enjoy most. Actually, I even enjoy studying openings, uh, frankly speaking, but less than some other parts of the game. So we have switched from the English opening to Sicilian. It's uh, some sort of bizarre geography, but uh, I mean, it happens. And now the question is how to protect this knight on t3 c3 
with the queen or maybe with uh, the rook. I think probably it's the, both amounts to the same thing. I know there is a line where where it goes for a queen exchange and uh, it could be good. And there is also a line, a line where white goes for an attack, which can also be good. But uh, remembering those lines would not be the worst thing in the world, to put it mildly. So h4 is probably too much. Let's go for an endgame. Being aged over, being aged 37, I have right to exchange everything and simplify the positions. I have right to blunder tactics. But of course, when being given a choice, I prefer to see tactics and play, be a, be a flexible, universal player who is able to both play positionally and tactically. Black wants to liberate his queen side. What can I do with it? Shall I complete development normally or start some active play? Let's go for active play. Bishop d3 was an alternative, just finishing my development. But I think the, the bishop, the knight on b7 should be limited. It's not the best piece. So I should do something about it. I mean, knight d6 is not a great move because it creates other weaknesses. I consider playing bishop f4 now because black is uh, uh, back in development. And also, I'm not sure if bishop f4 is the best move with an exchange on e5 if needed. So let's bring the rook to the seventh rank. It is also a sort of move which is really bad. A5, I don't want to let black activate his rook. I'm happy when black's pieces are passive. And when my pieces are active, of course. I expected something slightly different here in this position, but uh, this move makes sense. I have to admit that. So now I will complete my development if being allowed to. Black could have played bishop f6, bishop d8, but I mean, I had some counter dote against this plan. Yes, I'm ready to exchange rooks if needed. And now maybe I should make some good move. It's not the worst idea in the world to put it mildly. Okay, so let's play bishop d4 for domination. First, I will limit black's king and then all the, all the other pieces. But maybe now I will not even need to limit Black's king because I can perhaps, I don't know. Basically many things are winning here. But okay, let's play it in this way. I mean, I could have exchanged on c5 as well, but uh, I wanted to limit Black's king. I promised it. So that's what I want to do now. And so you can see that Black's king is unable to move uh, forward. And now I should go for the a5 pawn. For the a4 pawn, sorry. For the a3 pawn. But I will get it right now. I mean, now, unfortunately, black skin comes back into play, but uh, it's not a big problem for me. I can even afford to play g5, why not? I mean, I have time. Which doesn't sound very convincing with 32 seconds on the clock, but I have time. Okay, let's go for this. But what a sort of silly move did I play now? It's not the most clever move, but I'm winning anyway. Okay. 
and the pawns go forward still in time a6 yes thank you maybe i should switch to chat again thank you um, somehow As for my hobbies, I mean, foreign languages are one of my hobbies. Uh, I think it is, I was earlier most interested in, in sociology. Uh, and uh, I mean, I was studying logic, but we needed to select uh, some other subjects from elsewhere as well. And I suggest I went for sociology and uh, I mean, it helped me to understand the world better and to understand some uh, some things which I didn't care about before. And uh, uh, But frankly speaking, I haven't tried any sociologic uh, literature for quite some time. So maybe now foreign languages are still my biggest hobby, although I have become lazy and I'm playing too much online chess uh, for free and uh, without too much success. So it's sort of addictive, whereas neither sociology nor foreign languages are addictive. But uh, I mean, talking to other people from other countries is nice and it uh, helps uh, to understand the world better and uh, mostly it mostly helps by far not always of course but uh, it's a good hobby for a chess player because we are traveling a lot and and when you are traveling a lot it helps to be able to communicate with people and also to be able to tell them a few words even in their native language even though it is if it's not a language which is widely spoken in other countries. Um, actually, I, one of my motivations why I became interested in foreign languages was uh, when I played a tournament uh, and I'm sort of absent-minded. So it, it was in Jeteborg, uh, Jeteborg in uh, Sweden uh, and uh, and uh, we received our air tickets at the beginning and it was a return air ticket, but I didn't know. So I threw it away after coming. I'm wondering whether I can take on E6 and on F7, but probably it's too much now. So I threw away the ticket after reaching the venue. And then after coming back, I realized that I mean, when then after reaching the airport again, uh, I realized I was missing something, of course, my air ticket. Uh, so I became quite nervous. And I mean, it was quite stressful. Back then, it was not, there were no online tickets and like this. So well, maybe I should not remove knight f6. Can anything go wrong if I remove knight f6? I think it's universally good, but OK. Uh, back then, uh, it was not as easy as nowadays. Uh, and actually, I was quite lucky that I got other ticket in time. I paid some fine, but not a big one. Uh, and it uh, somehow helped me to realize that uh, studying foreign languages is really important, and especially if one is absent-minded. Uh, actually, I became interested I had become interested in foreign languages even many years before, but it was just uh, another source of motivation. And I mean, when one is motivated, it is easier to learn something new. I would like to win a piece now, but how to do it? Some peaceful move, fe6 or and rook f5 or rook f2, I don't know which is better, but I would like to collect Black's Knight. Oh, 
Although connecting, uh, collecting other pieces would not be that bad either. So let's go. I mean, white is still attacking. Bishop c4 is a threat and it can also be used as an intermediate move in many lines, but unfortunately not now. I have dropped some material. Not great. Okay, let's go. Why am I playing such poor chess at the times? Okay, but when I cannot win or position, maybe I will be able to win on time at least. I mean, it's not great. There was queen takes e5 actually, bishop takes e5 and then a1 is hanging, but I have no time to demonstrate it with arrows. So, where to go? I would like to install my bishop on c4, but it's unrealistic, unfortunately. So let's be realistic and uh, let's go for something more modest. Okay, what can I do? I cannot do anything. Like when I cannot do anything, maybe I can still play halfway decent chess. So let's see if I can. Maybe my position is not even bad anymore especially now when I'm attacking F7. So let's go for it. But shall I take it immediately or maybe not immediately? Let's wait to take later. So I was lucky here. I bet Ednus Carlsen, I mean, it is, uh, is it Hazelnut Carlsen? Okay, Marium Fatima has been waiting here for quite some time. So let's accept, welcome. And I need some more drink. I should be careful with pre moving because there is a danger that what could move her knight from F3. With this, I mean, pre moving saves time, but it can also be risky. I should play some sort of Greenfield Indian defense now again, but how to do that? Maybe e6 is not such a bad move in such positions. After all, possibly this, can I? Let's go for it. Maybe it's not the best way, but it cannot be too bad. It cannot be as bad as what I did in the, in the previous game, turning a better position into a much worse one. So here, everything is still ahead. Shall I push a5 or maybe not? I should be careful to protect my c5 pawn before undertaking any action here. So let's play a5. Maybe it's not the greatest move, but it also limits white's activity on the queen side. I think some more juice will be needed or maybe chocolate break. Finally, I mean, it's hard to, to eat chocolate when one is playing. I mean, when one is playing, it is still not too hard, but when one is playing and talking, it is extremely hard. And I haven't tried it now yet. But it is said that one should try something new, so maybe you will see me eating. I'm wondering whether I can play e5 after bishop f4 because my bishop on b7 can turn into a weakness. So maybe it's not the best idea. I'm not sure how to play it now. Let's play a natural move. Maybe it backfires tactically. I have no idea, but it should not be such a Bad decision, I hope. Okay, A4 is hanging. Okay, let's go. I'm short of time. Maybe I should 
speak less, so chocolate comes as my rescue now. I need some excuse to stop talking. Why didn't I buy an IP3? I'm wondering. When the chocolate doesn't help, there is still a chance to flag your opponent. That's what I have learned during the pandemic. No, sorry, uh, halfway serious. I have been halfway serious all the time. That's not something what I would have learned during the pandemic. but it's not a great game on my part. And what is playing well? I'm not going to deny that. But maybe now it's not my turn to make mistakes. It seems to me that I'm winning an exchange. Oh, sorry, I forgot that I cannot click on squares, but need to move pieces when playing with my fingers. So that's why I was trying in vain to take on a3, and it somehow did not quite work. So what about my technique? Can I win this smoothly or maybe less smoothly? Let's see what happens. Oh, it's hanging. It's not nice. I should limit what pieces now. Peacefully. So let's go. What's okay? Isn't it mating too? Okay, it was a tough game, but I was lucky in the end. Some next challenges. I mean, please don't. Uh, uh, I mean. If there is a grandmaster, I will maybe make an X. Okay, sorry, I can play it maybe another time. But I think there are other people who are waiting. Yoke up, joke up, hook up for an hour. So I'm not willing to play more games against the same opponents because there are many people waiting. So let's see what happens. French defense has not been there yet. So. Rubinstein, Rubinstein variation of French defense. So let's play bishop g5 and after the queen d6. I'm wondering what is the main line, whether it is bishop d3 now or taking on f6. Okay, it cannot be too big a mistake. So let's go here. It reminds me of a game between Grandmaster Bartlomey Machea and uh, Viktor Lasnička from the World Cup 2005. But Bishop B5, Bishop D7 was played there and it was a slightly different line. As you must have realized, why to won the game, and it is somehow some sub subconscious process that I'm recalling games which were won by white when playing with white myself. 
if I were playing with black, I would have probably recorded some other games. So why should attack now? But now, or maybe a bit later, I will first play king b1 because in many lines, some checks or on f4, for example, queen e7, queen f4 could be annoying. So I just want to prepare some kingside activity by hiding my king first. Maybe it was possible to play h4, g4 immediately, but I want it to be safe. You know, I'm covered, as you can see from my play. I hid my king before starting an attack, but I mean, it is often good. And I'm probably starting in queen e5 now, winning the piece back and remaining at least a pawn up. I mean, this pin is very unpleasant for black. This oh, one. So can I go here? Why not? I, I will try it. Maybe it's not the best move, but it looks sound. Even with sounds disabled. And there might be some nice tactics with bishop h6 in some lines, but not after bishop d6. I mean, now it's at least unnecessary. Maybe even here, actually, bishop h6 works. It could lead to some very funny variations, but uh, I'm not sure if I want to see very funny variations when I believe to be easily winning. So I'm not sure. Bishop takes f6 is surely good, but I will go for it just to have some fun. If black doesn't accept, I will either deliver mate in two after queen g5, king g8, queen g5, or take on f8 after king h8 winning material. If, and if black accepts, I will start a very dangerous attack. But after king h5, it can be really tricky. I mean, it's not practical to go for such lines. But I mean, here for audience, it makes sense. Normally, I would have been more pragmatic. Now it's easy because now my rook comes into play and I'm delivering mate in a few moves, in two moves. But there was a more tricky line. I mean, I will just show it if you don't mind. I mean, here, if uh, black plays king h5, how does it work? Hopefully I have not, oh, why is it? Why are there those evaluations? I'm not sure why, but I mean here, if black plays king h5, there is bishop e2 check, king h4 and rook d4 check among other moves. So let's go back. Where am I? Am I back? Am I away? Okay, so I will look at chat now again. Three minutes is fine. Yeah, I'm accepting challenges for three plus two or three plus zero. I'm, I, I mean, I'm too, too slow for bullet. It's not about the speed of thinking, but my biggest problem in bullet are speed of moving the mouse or moving fingers. It depends. And another problem is that I become very nervous when, very nervous when. Uh, it being short of time, which is counterproductive then. I mean, I'm really, very, tend to be very nervous when becoming short of time. I'm sorry if I haven't accepted your challenge. I mean, I see all of them here in one place and it is hard for me to realize who had, I mean, I can realize who had been there earlier and like this, but I mean, I mean it is difficult to just, I cannot accept all the challenges at the same time. So there is no one probably. So I will skip this one perhaps because, oh, sorry, <laughs> just in time. So let's play E5. I haven't played E5 tonight yet. It's not nice. Nice, I tend to become. 
nervous when I see constant time consumption, but um, perhaps it's just my problem. What can I do? I don't remember the line. I know I should be careful about F7. Yes, I, okay. Sorry, if uh, some of my comments are stupid, it's normal. I mean, I tend to say stupid things at times. Uh, I mean, many people do and uh, okay, it happens to almost everybody and uh, I'm no exception. So thank you for your understanding. Given that I'm not that young anymore, it, it is unlikely that I will stop say, saying silly things. But maybe, I mean, there is always a chance that some miracle happens. Maybe I should be speaking less, but I mean, in banter blitz, exactly, it's uh, not the best time to speak less. I'm not sure whether I should have taken with knight or with uh, the pawn here because uh, I'm wondering what am I going to play now because the white has open files against my pieces. And uh, on the other hand, I'm a pawn up. And unless I lose the F7 pawn, it should be fine for me. So I'm now going to lose the F7 pawn, as you can see. But I would prefer to give back the exchange and having the option of knight d4 might also help. So that's why I played this move because I have this knight d4 resource now. Maybe I could have even played it now. I'm not sure, but uh, I decided to play it safely, protect everything and play for positional compensation. I have a pawn and ex I have a pawn. Uh, uh, for an exchange, which is not that bad. So it can only become worse. There is uh, plenty of room for ruining my position. So let's go for it. Not sure if it's a good move, but in Blitz, uh, one needs to accept that it is not always possible to make the best moves. I mean, uh, being I mean, accepting that we are all prone to making mistakes uh, can liberate uh, a player to some extent uh, in Blitz because uh, it is not possible to see everything. I mean, mistakes are part of the game. And uh, I mean, time is also a part of the game. I mean, I don't like dirty flagging. So when I was speaking about flagging, I was also partially joking, but I mean, some soft flagging is uh, fine with me. I mean, not like when the opponent is completely lost and just like this, but I mean, uh, flagging is also part of blitz. And uh, in some cases, uh, I mean, time is also an important aspect, but uh, I just uh, I'm not one who would like to flag the opponents too often, but sometimes I do, depending on circumstances. But uh, I mean, now it's uh, now I'm winning a piece or an exchange. Maybe I mean I was worried about uh, my position, but it seems that I'm winning in the end. But uh, actually, White played uh, the opening really well. And uh, I, I mean, I made some mistake and uh, my position was worse at some uh, moment. So thank you. And uh, what else? I'm sometimes uh, becoming too nervous. I, I'm sorry for not uh, accepting uh, 
this okay monsters are there is therefore quite some time so sorry for not accepting earlier i mean i'm i just haven't come uh, to your challenge otherwise i would have accepted earlier it seems that she has left already i mean uh, i mean it's uh, always with me it's always like this uh, when I was inviting inviting some women to a restaurant or like this, uh, it was always ill-timed. Mostly, uh, for example, I had a chance uh, to invite a woman to a restaurant uh, at some point, but uh, I invited her only later when there was no chance that she would accept and uh, like this, but sorry for this. Uh, Sorry for switching to other topics. Uh, now I am playing a game and I should focus on chess game here. Maybe E4 was possible to get quick development and then attack F7 if possible. So I don't know what happens. What is going on? Can I play knight b5 or not? I'm wondering. I mean, e3 was definitely a sound move, but I think knight b5 might be very good or maybe not that great, depending on whether black has a way to meet uh, this threat of knight c7. And probably there is queen a5 followed by e5. I mean, I don't understand if it's good for black or not, or good to some extent, but uh, perhaps I should have finished my development instead because now e5 can be a reasonable move. Maybe I had better not speak about the position so much because the opponents can hear me maybe, or maybe the opponent has found it uh, anyway, so what to do? I mean, knight c5 can be unpleasant in some lines. So let's take, we will see what happens then. I was more afraid of knight h5 instead of knight e4, but maybe this is even better, I don't know. It's just, uh, it just depends on whether black will be able to generate compensation for the missing pawns or not. Bishop. F5, so what about knight c7? No, it's not a great idea. Not every nice idea is great. And not every great idea is nice, but okay, let's simplify the position. I will exchange queens and hope to convert the advantage. I will be temporarily two pawns up and hope to remain at least one pawn up which should be enough. And now I should complete my development. So let's go for it. Hopefully black doesn't play bishop takes f3 because then, no, I'm joking, of course. But then removing e4 would not be great. <laughs> Sorry. So bishop b5, what can I do? I don't want to exchange bishops. I want to complete my development. So king f2, rook d1 to place the rook behind the pawn and now check and e5. Am I winning? Am I not winning? Okay, let's play bishop g5. There is, okay, and now I'm probably winning. I hope I am winning. Thank you. And uh, I will see if there are any other challenges pending for many hours. Shadow mate, okay. Four hours cost by this Sosa. So maybe first this. Sorry uh, for being so chaotic and for not having accepted your challenges earlier. I mean, I'm not good at this. I haven't played French defense yet. So let's go for it. Okay, this can also be Petrov, but uh, no Boshirov. 
And uh, now I think I can give a check on B4 to complete my development very quickly. I don't know if it's so good or not, but it cannot be too bad. And uh, actually white is back in development, so I could try to start some activity. What can I do? Maybe c5 or knight e4. Let's play knight e4. Maybe it's not the best move, but it will not be too bad. It's, uh, I mean, in blitz, uh, it's always sort of compromise between uh, quality and time. And um, I mean, it's great when you are able to play the best moves. Maybe there I could take on c3 and play knight g3 then, but uh, I mean, uh, it's more important not to blunder too much. I mean, at least in blitz, uh, because it's mistakes. So what decides the, about the outcome of the games, and it's mostly not about uh, great ideas, but mistakes mostly matter more. It uh, may be sad, but it's uh, true, and and uh, we need to live with it. So I will just try to avoid big mistakes and to keep time to be able to use it later. So I have been talking about time management and I have spent one minute in the process, which is not so nice. Okay, so let's go for night G3 anyway. Or what did I sacrifice upon? It's a valid question. Maybe there, okay, now it's good for me. Maybe even knight f5 is a move, maybe. There, okay, I will try it. Now when white can no longer castle, it looks like a reasonable choice. And if bishop b5, I just take it. And if bishop c4, I take elsewhere. I'm often able to speed up when I understand that I have been playing too slowly, but generally my time management is not good. I grew up on blitzing with a time control, uh, with a time control uh, three plus two. So it's not so easy to switch to three plus zero in online chess. I sort of succeeded, but I'm mostly spe I'm mostly speeding up only when I get to like 30 seconds and I'm not that quick to be able to speed up sufficiently. Okay, now I'm winning, but uh, I mean, this D6 was a good move, which I missed. And maybe after Bishop takes E6 on the previous move, uh, I mean, one move earlier, it could have been very tricky. Thank you. So I see there was a challenge uh, for two hours, uh, at least one challenge, shadow mate. So let's exit. Okay, I'm playing with black again. So what can I do? I haven't played so many Sicilian defenses here so far. So let's play A6, let's be original. I mean, it's a standard theoretical line, but a bit more creative and a bit more fighting than some others. Black generally believes that uh, jumping to C3 too early gives him some additional options, but I mean, it's uh, not clear whether it is the case. So let's go, what can I do? Maybe d5, why not? After all, what has spent some time on, I mean, I can take it with the e pawn, but I'm not sure whether white will be able to play knight f5 under favorable circumstances then or not. So shall I go for it? Oh, let's take it this way. I will play it safely now. I will surely become older with time passing. So I need to learn how to play safely. I mean, I haven't learned it yet, which is 
strange, but uh, I should start working on it. So I'm trying to play solidly this time. Maybe I can learn how to, how to play solidly. Exchanging all the material cannot be bad in this respect. Drawing me, drawing you, that is all that I can do. Drawing, mirroring you, that is all I can do. Okay, I forgot to, unfortunately, I don't know if it has started, but there is a passage which reminded me of this uh, song of, I mean, it, this uh, periodical version of Knowing Me, Knowing You by Abba, and uh, I will now switch to that uh, part of the text. Uh, Okay, if I recall it, of course. It might take me some time, sorry. Keep exchanging my deal until it's gone and you know that draw is real when there is no one drawing me drawing you that is all that i can do drawing me drawing you that is all i can do okay but maybe now i can do something else and perhaps I can do it better than singing. Shall I exchange a sacrifice, a sacrifice and exchange, or maybe not? Let's play it solidly so far. And maybe given that this stream was connected to, to uh, my participation with, in the Charity Cup, uh, which was organized to help Ukraine, uh, which is uh, in a very difficult situation now facing an aggression. Maybe I could also say, uh, sing one song in Ukrainian. It's uh, uh, maybe sort of a religious song, but without uh, religious language or without uh, mentioning the God or like this. But uh, it's about evening sun, evening sun, uh, sun. Thank you for the day. And uh, uh, I mean, not like sun, uh, like uh, daughter or like this, but uh, like the planet. So, okay, I need some time. Yes. Večírně slunce děkuju za den. Večírně slunce děkuju za tomu. Za těch lisí prosvítlený Edem. I za voložku v žiti zolotomu. Za tvý svitánok i za tvý zenit. I za moji opečení zeníty. Za te, co zavta chodče zelenit. Za te, co včera vstihlo zveníty. Děkuju. Děkuju. Za nebo v nebi, za dyťáčí smích, za tež, čo môžu i za tež, čo môžu. Večírne slunce ďakujú za vsích, Kotry ničím neoskvenili dušu. Za tež, čo závtra vždy tvojich natchneň, čo des u svíti krovče neprolito. 
You can see I started singing and immediately players are leaving, so it's not good. Sorry for this, but uh, at least there are not so many people waiting, not so many people who could claim that uh, I was not nice to them and that I, uh, that I haven't accepted their challenge. I can now say, okay, you could not stand my singing. Other people could, so they should be rewarded for it, rewarded for it. But what am I playing? It's not nice. Black has achieved a very good version of Greenfeld. You see, this is a sort of Greenfeld stream. I have already achieved several Greenfeld positions and also several Karokans uh, resulting from various openings. I mean, this also had not been a Greenfeld. Initially, it had been slab defense, but uh, uh, sometimes it happens that the one opening turn uh, poses into another one. So, and sometimes it happens that grandmasters misplay the opening, as you can see. But uh, maybe it's uh, how to retract uh, this play move. I don't like it. Why, where can I click? Sorry. I mean, my point was to play rook takes d3, bishop f5, and e4 then, but uh, I'm afraid it doesn't. No, 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 e4. Sorry. <laughs> I almost pre moved something really terrible, but. Okay, I'm back on the track. I'm not losing yet. It's just a slightly worse position. Oh, it's not so bad. Actually, thank you for your patience. And uh, I apologize to those players who had been waiting for many hours. Uh, I mean, uh, it, I'm not uh, watching the, the challenges in chronologic order, which means that this is not nice, really. <laughs> okay. Which means that uh, I haven't accepted accepted some challenges which I should have accepted much earlier so I'm sorry for this. I saw that some Indian players challenged me but uh, it is already past midnight in India now so it's no wonder that some of them have left by now. Oh. What did I do with this opening? It's just terrible, but okay, let's play on. Chess uh, teaches us to accept responsibility for our mistakes and to try to cope with the problems which we have caused to ourselves or which our opponents have also caused to us by their strong play, as in this case. It's not just me, there are two people responsible for it, but uh, just the one to blame to be blamed for getting uh, for me getting a bad position, namely myself. But I'm uh, ahead on time, so hopefully I can hopefully I can do something with the position now. Or maybe not, but I mean it's not a big tragedy now, it's just banter blitz. Am I going to protect the pawn or just play as if nothing had happened?
Maybe I will just continue playing as if nothing had happened, although I don't like my position. It's not great. Is there increment or not? I guess there is none. I'm just wondering whether I'm there is increment. So it's maybe this time not such good news. So I need to play well to survive this. It's not good that I need to play well, but uh, maybe it will be motivating. Let's see. I'm sometimes capable of playing well. Hopefully it will be this case as well. I mean, I really don't like White's position. Back is obviously better here, but play goes on. Show must go on. Oh, sorry, I'm not able to sing this one. I will spare you of it. Okay. What am I losing? Am I losing material? Maybe not yet. So I will continue kicking Black's Knights. So how to start with this? It's a good idea, but maybe I should be careful enough how to start with it. So maybe shall I push Bishop A5 to maybe not. Oh, okay, let's go there. Why not? I don't like my position, but it's life. Not only the games can be seen live, but I mean, sometimes one needs to accept that not everything is going well. And sometimes one needs to accept even that everything is going wrong, as in this game, because the opponent is playing well. But I will play on and not give up for the time being. I still have a plenty of time, so let's go. So let's go, where can I go? Maybe here. Of course, that can give me a check, but I will go back then. I still have a bishop pair, and I admit that Black's Knights are placed nicely and centralized, but uh, but I have also my trumps, no Donald. I'm not a fan of Donald Trump, but I chose this name because uh, I had some problems uh, choosing name uh, Avit Nava or David Nava because uh, it had been reserved for me and uh, I was unable to, to set it myself. On other website, it has another reason why I am using the same name, real David Nava, because on Another website, it was caused by the fact that someone had misused my name there and it was no longer available. But here it's just because of my inability to, uh, to... Actually, it's not that bad to have those two extra seconds. I started enjoying it now. But what am I doing? Why am I playing such poor chess? Wasn't there anything better? Maybe it's not about me enjoying those two extra seconds, but just struggling with time. Okay, it happens. Why didn't I give check first? Can I do with this? Not nice. No, no, not here. Okay. There was a fork on E1. This was not really good. I'm wondering why am I stepping into all the forks like this, but uh, maybe it's not that bad. Maybe I'm not even losing. 
So let's see what is to happen now. Maybe I'm not losing, but what is not there can still happen. Okay, so repeat. Yes, draw, but how to claim it? Okay, sometimes one is happy to save a draw. Thank you for the game. There is also a challenge for another from another Fede master, but I should first maybe uh, accept challenges from people who had been there for two hours. So sorry for accepting only now. And this will probably be the last game now. I'm sorry for, I apologize to all the others, but I mean, when someone has been waiting here for two hours, uh, I should accept, but I mean, I just saw a list of challenges and this was uh, at the bottom of the list. So sorry for this. We'll see if there is an, if the opponent is no longer there, I apologize. And maybe there will be someone else, uh, someone else uh, who has been waiting for full two hours. And if not, I will accept the last challenge from a FIDE master, but I will see if there is someone else with two hours two hours, no one. So just, okay, there is one Freedom Master. So let's accept as the last one for the end. So D4, uh, what can I play this time? So maybe E6 again, I'm a boring player. I'm playing well, uh, the time, the same openings. So let's play Bishop B4. I don't know this one. I hope I'm not playing against Daniel Lubov because I'm not good enough to face him in this line. Can I play B5? Am I not losing on the spot? I don't know the theory here. Sorry, I hope it could not be too bad. After knight E5, I still have moves like queen takes D4. Or... This looks like Daniel Lubov's idea. Can he take it with the knight? And what am I going to play then? C6 or bishop or, or knight d5? Well, let's play c6. I'm attacking d4 after all. Yes. I'm a pawn up, but white has a reasonable compensation here. And b3 is a good move. It actually uh, helps white to undermine my pawn structure, which is something what I don't want, what I don't like. White has full compensation for the sacrificed pawn and possibly even more than just enough compensation. Maybe it's just some opening course which I missed because uh, white is, or white knows it from other sources because he has achieved uh, or maybe she I don't know but Fidel masters are mostly male because otherwise there would be a uh, woman international masters like this so I think he perhaps knows more than me again about this uh, opening so okay unfortunately there is an unpleasant move now. Yes, exactly. Bishop a3 was a move I was afraid of. So what can I do with it? I need to complete the development. Not sure if knight d5 helps to achieve that aim. Maybe not exactly. But it looks like a move. I don't even know with which pawn should I recapture on d5. It's another difficult question. But let's play. It's a tough position for me. I don't like this position, but maybe I have some tactical research here. Maybe not. I was considering something. Something fancy here. But it doesn't seem to work. I mean, I considered playing b4 and then c5 at some point, but uh, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be the right 
solution of the problems which white has caused me. Knight c5, can I push b4 now? Maybe not the best idea. So let's take, and I will try to keep the position closed. Actually, it's easier to keep than keeping my mouth closed. So there are reasonable chances that I succeed in keeping the position closed, but I'm not sure whether I should push f5 or f6. I even have a funny idea of uh, activating my rook in another way. Like, yes, exactly. I meant h5 and uh, activating my rook along the h file, similarly to what white is doing, but uh, h5, rook h6, keeping my king in the center. But uh, I'm not sure if it's a great idea. I'm doing something similar now, at least preventing white from castling, which still would be something I'm afraid of. So I will protect a pawn. What can I do? I don't know if knight c3 is a good move, probably not. Probably I should have played f5 just to stabilize my position in the center, like giving up some squares to gain an ad, to gain others. It's always questionable. I mean, such decisions are not easy, but uh, at least I'm still an exchange up, although white has an unquestionable compensation. Okay, just unquestionable compensation with no particle. What is this? What is going on? Shall I keep? Oh, what am I doing? This was not nice, really. I missed the check on B3, but uh, okay. Otherwise, I would have taken on e4 and played rook e8 then to give back exchange, but to complete my development. But maybe this is not the best move for white. Maybe now it's fine. But what to do with my bishop? Should I go? Should I stay or should I go? I mean, bishop d3 is uh, an option in such positions, but this check on, I mean, not check, but the uh, hanging pawn on c6 is a sort of minor problem in some lines. So I decided to protect everything and, and see what happens then, what comes next. So now maybe this comes next. I will be brave enough to recapture with the pawn. Although I'm not sure if it's really good, but sometimes one needs to be brave. Not sure if it's the right time for it now, but let's see what happens if I just activate everything. Can I, oh, I can even take on A4, it's great. There is no mate. My counter attack comes in time. Yes, d5. That's what I missed and uh, only found a bit too late, but okay, hopefully I can still take it. Maybe bishop e4 was a move, I don't know what happens. I hope to be able to survive white's counter attack. What's this? Does it work in any way? I'm not sure if it works when I have rook a2 check. I think it should not work. Okay, with some luck, I'm probably winning. Queen a2 was there perhaps, but I'm fine with this. Okay, thank you for the game. Thank you everybody for watching, for uh, playing, and uh, I will still reply to some questions. Uh, okay. Uh, I am glad that most of you liked my uh, stream and uh, at least most of those who stayed there until now. And, uh, 
And uh, okay, now what else? Uh, recommendations for uh, if I have any recommendation for for Ardea Gark based on our game. I mean, of course, the Black's conversion of the advantage was not uh, optimal, but it's uh, difficult in Blitz. But I was impressed by. Your play in the opening, you put the pieces on the right squares, and uh, uh, I mean, you played it very much like Greenfield, although it started as left defense, and you played it very well. And uh, of course, uh, you could won, could have won it, and it was only a draw. But in blitz, it happens, uh, and uh, I don't know. Okay, thank you very much. I'm glad that. Uh, it was a sort of success, although I was unable to follow chat while playing. I mean, uh, I was instead following my own thoughts, which is what I'm doing anyway. Uh, next time we will definitely enjoy a very different stream from someone else, uh, but we will probably see each other again in a few months. Uh, and uh, maybe early, maybe later. So I want to wish you good uh, evening or morning or whatever time of the day, great weekend and uh, uh, nice Easter to those who are celebrating it and uh, nice weekend at least to everybody and not caring what, not, uh, I mean, irrespective of your religion, of your political opinions, of your views. And uh, thank you uh, and all the best. Uh, goodbye. Hi, everybody, and welcome to our new video series. My name is Jan Gustafsson, and I'm thrilled to be reunited with fellow Magnus Carlsen's trainers, seconds, Peter Heine Nielsen, Magnus Carlsen's head coach, and Laurent Fressinet, Magnus Carlsen's French coach, are both here. And we will be going through the World Championship match 2021. Our experiences with it, the games, what we prepared, where we felt things went well, where we felt things didn't go well. Peter, we have different perspectives because we were in different locations. Very much. I'm looking forward to talking to you guys about it because you were in Thailand during all the match and I was in Dubai with the Magnus and the Geologist, his non-chess team. So I see some kind of debriefing where we will discuss what was the mood in Dubai, what was happening in the technical department in Thailand. And we got to sort of basically compare notes and uh, yeah, get the two kind of inside looks uh, from the match. Very much so. And Laurent, we are actually in your private home. Thanks for having us. It's a big pleasure to, to welcome both of you. And I'm sure it will be interesting to talk to you guys for the match. Likewise. So we hope you guys enjoy the series with our behind the scenes insights. <laughs> See you then. <laughs>